and show you how to play one of my favorite country songs at this time, Whiskey and Rain. All right, to kick this lesson off, we gotta throw the capo on the first fret to at least make it easier, all open chords, yeah. So the overall rhythm uh, is gonna be down, down, up, up, down, up, the classic. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Or one, two, and, and four, and. If you wanna mix it up beyond that, feel free. I definitely will a little bit. I can't help it even when I'm teaching. So just watch for that. But overall, that's the foundation what I'll keep leaning on for the rhythm. All right, so let's get into it. Um, this is actually gonna be about seven parts. It's a bit, um, it's simple, it's easy, but it's also a little bit tricky in certain parts, which is why I'm doing the lesson. I want you guys to have uh, a good shot at you know making this thing sound great. So here it is. Uh, the intro is real simple. It basically is the foundation of a good portion. Maybe it's a, I don't know, 80% of this tune. Okay, it's gonna be A minor to G, right? Twice. In the intro, he actually cuts it off on that last G, by the way. That's kind of your nice foundation, but it's like. It's been a trying to get over here. Right? Now I got our verse. It's the same thing. Just A minor to G. Right, so that was your verse right there, okay? So this, the intro is essentially the same as the verse. It's just the A minor to G. Well, in the intro, they're gonna cut it off. Now, the next part that always comes after the verse is uh, what I consider a pre-chorus. It's a really short pre-chorus, so I almost was con you know, conflicted. Should I even say pre-chorus or just, just say it's part of the verse? Either way, it doesn't matter. I am one of those like guys, I like to have everything structured and organized in my brain. It helps me memorize it. So I'm gonna consider this pre-chorus. Here's the pre-chorus. Yeah, right? You're like, what? Okay, that's it? Yeah. So C to a D, one measure each. Misery, those cold in whiskey and rain. Right? So it's that little setup. You can hang on that, but I like to strum through it. And which gets you right into your chorus. Zoom down here a little bit. So yeah, so that sets you up right for the chorus, which is the exact same thing we've been doing. A minor for two measures, G for two measures. Whiskey in the rain coming down. So that's your chorus, by the way. Then we get this cool part, which I don't see a lot anymore. I really appreciate it when I see it. Maybe that's part of the reason why I like this song. It's got a post-chorus. So the post-chorus is this. Isn't that cool? So, I mean, it really, I guess that post-chorus might be... It's such a hard way to describe this song. I like this song for that reason. It's kind of hard to categorize these things. But I mean, that's like the nice little differential change that E minor gives you that like, you know, that minor six to lean on, goes a little dark on you, which is cool. So one measure each after every course, it goes E minor, to D, to C, to the D. That last D on there, I want you to let it hang, right? And then you wanna sing, till the bottle runs out Right, so he actually goes back to like kind of a reprise of that uh, that chorus, which is really cool. That's what I'm struggling to you know, categorize it for you guys, but I've got a guide. Uh, if you're on my Patreon, you can click it and see the whole format, so it's a little bit easier. But essentially, that's what's happening after every chorus. It's this other section, which is really a kind of a post-chorus. And after that, all basically repeats. You get yourself a verse, get your little kind of pre-chorus setup, C to D. Another chorus, another post-chorus, all the same stuff. So after that second post-chorus, you're gonna to get to the solo. It's super short and sweet. Here it is, so, I'm, I, you're not gonna, don't blink, cause you'll miss it. Right, so 
It's essentially that post chorus part we just did, right? E minor, D, C, D, right? However, on the E minor to D, that's really where there's this instrumental happening. As a singer, just playing the acoustic by yourself, that's a nice place where you just kind of like let it, let it hang. Just... Right, and you get yourself the chorus. So anyways, that little, you'll hear that in there, that little solo comes in really fast and then it's back to a vocal, which is um, essentially kind of feels like actually a pre-chorus with that Misery Loves Company line C to D. Very clever songwriting, but also very simple. Anyways, and so then it goes right back into, uh, you know, yourself, a chorus and then that post-chorus. Then on that last bit, um, he kind of adds a little bit of the reprise. So that post-chorus, right? After that, he gets mellow. He goes, Whiskey in the rain, coming down, coming down. Speak some urban coming down. Right? Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please like, share, subscribe. I've got some cool links down there for merch. Affiliate link for this guitar, that tuner, that capo if you guys like the gear I'm using. And also with the camera that I'm using uh, if you enjoy the audio uh, and visual that you're getting here. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, also, if you're liking the, the country content, leave a comment below, let me know, and I'm here to help, man. Uh, see you in the, in the next video, you guys.